there's a big appeal here. And he's out, gone, Smith. Bad foot and all. That's out though. That's well deserved as well. Outstanding over from Zahir Khan. Straight forward for Dinesh Karthik. Big shout for leg before. And he had the two slip fielders also joining in. Yeah, the shout first of all was from Patan. Uh, I'm sure it was pad first and then bat. Rolls off the face of the pad basically. And uh, then onto the face of the bat. So uh, it's not a bad shout in all from Patan. We can see where it pitches in line. It just comes back nicely. Not a bad shout. That's a good delivery, half a shout. What a great delivery. Almost had him. Not fair, is it? Sometimes for the bowlers. It's almost cleaned him up. There's a gap there. It's nearly got through a slight inside edge and nearly hitting leg stump and it races away for four. But a terrific delivery. It's got it. That's stuff out the ground. That is a beauty. Very well bowled. He has bowled superbly today, Zahir Khan. This reverse is starting to work. He's reversing it both ways. That's the key here to this wicket from Zahir Khan. End of Zahir Khan. He's played very well. This ground has come alive. Crucial wicket, absolutely, for India. One away, and then this one coming back. It was actually set up to move away once again, and it didn't go through the air. So there's the subtle difference. That's what reverse swing brings, and India needed that wicket, that's for sure. Hashim Amla on debut. That's a nice one to get off the mark. Short and wide outside the off-stop, exactly where Kumble didn't want to bowl. And Hashim Amla is off the mark with the boundary in Test Match Cricket. And a nervous smile as well to his partner. Down the wicket, over the top. Lots of confidence from somebody playing in his very first Test innings. Confirmation from the third umpire. Has it gone all the way? Just one bounce into the fence. Bowling! Change of bowling! These two seamers are on top form today. Very good captaincy by Saurabh Ganguly. Realising your fun, Patan has got the ability to swing it both ways. He's brought in his premier fast bowler. And look at that. Deviation after pitching, squaring him up. And a great side once again. Timber. Patan delighted. So the first outing in Test Match cricket for Amla comes to an end. He's gone for 24, it's 176 for four. And uh, a very, very important stage of this game for South Africa. Is and taken, Dinesh Karthik has picked up another catch. And Irfan Patan has struck once again for India. His third wicket and Eden Gardens is on its feet. And the toss now is not looking so important. Dipana disappointed, only one run. Very hard and well, Dinesh Karthik. He was going for the stumping, and then he decided there was an outside edge. I think Simon Toffel may have made the right decision here. This first look, it seemed to have beat the bat by an inch. Let's have another look. There's something that got the fielders excited. Oh! Having a look at it again, it seemed like there was a deflection, whether it was of the outside edge of the bat. Definite outside edge. Full shot. And very well played. Two men back, well in front of square for four. There's a well-settled batsman out there, Jacques Hallis. Oh, he's gone again. And that's well played. He's going to pick up a boundary of that stroke. And he's got himself now into the 90s. Ninth boundary for Jacques Hallis. You ever on 99, Sanjay? Or did you used to go from 96 to 100? You ever on 99, looking for one? Always a single split. <laughs> that's it. Test century. Number 17, and as we said before, his first against India, and how important might it be? Well, he's famous and renowned for not being too animated as a batsman, Jacques Callis. But that celebration, boy, it was a good fighting day of Test Match cricket. Scott, there's a neck. Up goes that finger to Zahir Khan has struck. That's exactly what's needed from the Indian perspective. Brilliant stuff from Zahir Khan. <laughs> that was um, yeah, a bit of GBH here. Savag, the man, picking the ball up. Now he wants to throw it in. He hasn't looked up anywhere. <laughs> it just smashed. <laughs> 
Sarab Ganguly is certainly uh, getting the ball to talk a little bit here. He's uh, doing an extremely good job. He did this in Kampur as well. Came in and bowled a couple of overs. Yeah, just hitting that webbing, basically. And it popped up for a while. I'm sure the Shai Kalos is a little bit anxious, and so was Kartik, hoping that uh, Rahul Dravid might be able to uh, snaffle. He's going back now. So the skipper said, hang on a sec. If you're back, you would have caught that. A little bit too late. Stuff from Sarab Ganguly, no shot offered by Jacques Callas. It's cannon into that off stump. He's in the attack, the skipper, and they're in a frenzy now at Eden Gardens. They sure are, and uh, good work from the skipper to bring himself on. A change of pace, a change of angle. He's got the two left arm quicks, but he comes in from the other side. Two very close LV shouts the previous over, an outside edge. And now this one, just hitting the bales, and Callis not offering a stroke. Certainly what India required at this stage. <laughs> it is a gone another test wicket to me. Thank you very much. Turn and bounce. The first wicket for a spinner in this test match on day two. And what a great delivery. Absolutely outstanding, unplayable if you want to call it. And the important wicket is Sean Pollock. Anil Kumble, 431 for him. And he's gone. First delivery, a dipping full toss. Soli Kele was looking for runs. But first wicket in the end and Harbhajan will be relieved. <laughs> this one in the end should be out, taken comfortably. 305. For nine, now 305 all out. And the Indians have done wonderfully well, losing the toss on a fish that was good for batting on day one and two so far. In front, the Tan making comeback to Test Match Cricket. Very impressive, three wickets to go with that economy rate and Zahir Khan. Four was less than Patan, but three wickets for him as well. Ball well in spells. They've got to make the new ball count, the South Africans. Yep. This man it's spends about an hour in the middle and it's trouble. To me, is the key against Savag early. And straight away, a boundary to Savag. A streaky one. Good signs for the captain, Graham Smith, standing there waiting at first slip. Let's see how many short balls Gumbia gets. Leg side at the moment, and that is well timed. Put to Dipanar as the chaser. He's going to get the dive in, and he does half the job. Four runs. Big shout indeed. And up goes that finger, Sean Pollock has struck. The seam was nice and straight, up goes the finger for the man in the crowd as well. Well, I've seen him get out in this fashion before. Cut away, down the third man for four, even though the man at backward point is very deep. In the air, where's that gone? Well, fortune here. But it looks all very strange. This forearm, so he's got the protection there. And he'll be thankful that he's wearing the arm guard. That's well played by Savard. That should go for four as soon as it hits these. Oh, and it was good fielding. Couldn't quite hook it back around. 35 for one. Crunch. Crunched through the gap. Class shot, wasn't it, from a class player. We all know Dravid's technique is uh, of the highest quality. This guy has beautiful hands. It just guides the ball almost at will into what area he wants to hit it. In the air, but away like a tracer bullet. Four runs. Not very happy. That also brings up to 50 for India. Fifth boundary for Virendra Seva. It's been very severe on the offside. Not a very easy shot to play. Great delivery. It's working to an extent. That was a clear case of uh, taking the ball, eyes off the ball, and that ball could have gone anywhere. Just a a little bit of a glare there from Antini, and Sawag didn't back down. Took his eye off the ball totally. It's a good sign for the South Africans. Just a little bit of a glare. <laughs> he won't sledge, Antini. He doesn't believe in sledging. Take that, said Sawag. Best I don't leave them alone. 
But good response in the end from Virendra Sehwag. Seventh boundary for Virendra Sehwag. He's very strong on the offside and he's very powerful as well. Tremendous power to have carried that far. It's a big ground, Eden Gardens. Noisy one as well. But so it will be when this guy plays. Miss me, hit that hard. Maximum in the first six of the Indian innings, taken on the full. And he's got very strong wrists. Gone again. This is the danger. To bowl at a player of this ilk is intimidating as it is. Reverse sweep. He plays it as well as, well as anybody in the world. There's so much pace on the ball. End of an over which cost a lot of runs, but might have got a wicket. 104 for one. In the air and just past the outstretched hand. It's going to run away towards the boundary. Sean Pollock is disappointed. Ashamla gave everything, but it wasn't enough. Another boundary. Can't do too much with that. And he'll have a shot. The stumps and he's got middle stump out of the ground. That says it all. And that look. 125 for one. <laughs> Middle stump cartwheeling. <laughs> oh, don't South Africa wish. Well, Suag pulled away well in time, and that's the way to do it. If you're not ready, get out of there. Make it very clear. <laughs> Bang! He's launched. That's gone miles. That is a huge hit. That is unbelievable. I wonder how Sean Pollock's feeling after that. Half a dozen of Verinda Sawag moves to 88 now, and he is back. There's no doubt about it. Most batsmen need a cycler early in the day, early in the innings. It's taken Verinda Sawag just three balls. And the fourth delivery that he's played today, magnificent hit. It stayed hit for a long, long time. Boy, oh boy, what a player. Oh, it could be out. Smith's under it. Yes, he is. That's very good bowling from McCain Tini. The South Africans are ecstatic. They've got Come the big up, wicket boy. they wanted. Look at these celebrations. They've gone berserk here. They've picked up the important wicket. Sawag is uh, on his way back. A very, very good delivery indeed. And I'm not surprised they're on their feet. Well, two of them. Great innings from Berendi Sevag. Very well enjoyed by the crowd here at the Eden Gardens. Comes to an end. He's gone for 88. 144 for two. Good shot, through the covers, four runs. No point chasing that one, all along the carpet. There was a bit of swing for Makai Antini. Well, that's cleverly played by Tendulkar, I like that even more. And his first boundary. Oh, he's nicked it, he's got four for it. Well, I don't think it carried, but it's worth closer inspection. A deceptive bowler, and that's off the face of the bat. So Tendulkar, with this defensive mode he is in, he's not willing to hit the ball too often. He's just looking to run that down to third man. Gone over the top. He's not going to relax too much now. Boundary to finish the over. That puts a pressure straight back on the leg spinner. Got him! Chopped it on! Big inside edge. It was the reverse swing again from Zunder to Brain. The crowd has gone silent here at Eden Gardens. You can probably pick up and hear the screams from the South Africans. They are delighted. That is a huge wicket. Four. He's well set, so obviously Sean Pollock not really looking to get a wicket at this stage. This one just a little bit too short, allowing Ganguly to get hold of that. No chance. Placement outstanding. Hitting it in front of square. One bad ball in and over is good enough for the Indians to be scoring at four and over. And gone! That's what he was trying to do. He's been working on this ball. Reverse swing coming back. It's like Tendulkar today, he's chopped it back onto his stumps. Big appeal, big appeal, and out! De Bruyne has made a very, very important breakthrough here. He did pitch in line, what's the big question? Just outside, the impact was outside the line of leg stump, and it's very, very straightforward that the Indian captain was very unfortunate, unlucky. And that'll be four. You can't bowl on his pads. Good shot, full shot. Geez, played that well. 
Very, very good shot indeed. It wasn't all that short, but the variable bounce as well. You'd think there'd be a slight doubt on the back of Vimeo Luxman's mind. Out, caught cover. Big wicket. Huge wicket. Good catch too. You can almost hear a pin drop here. Makaya Antony takes another important wicket. Luxman gone for 38. Good shot. Very good shot indeed. Wasn't an out and out half volley and just punched the past the bowler for four. Well, we've been talking about a comparison with his bowling with Wasim Akram. And this is a bit of a batting comparison. Wasim Akram was handy with the bat. It's an interesting shot and in what is probably going to be the last over. And he's played it beautifully. Lee out of Simak's book. Young blood. Exuberance of youth. But Dinesh Karthik realised there was no man at point. Very nicely played. Sensible. Looks extremely good. Edge. Oh, it's a very good catch. Wow, that is a beauty. Graham Smith has taken a sensational catch. He's playing with the patience of Irfan Patan, staying at the channel and going very, very hard at that Irfan Patan, away from the body, and that is a truly amazing catch. And Antini, he's delighted. And India have lost an important wicket. Irfan Patan, one for 24. If he hangs around and keeps doing that, it's really going to get up your nose. A very good player. He's very quick on his feet. Dinesh Kartik and he's just flicked this one to the final leg region. Got through the slip, Gordon piled up together. Smith and Cullis. <laughs> it wasn't a catch or anything because it's off the pad, but nice to see smiles out there. Unfortunate the slips, Gordon, have a good stagger because they've crisscrossed. <laughs> well, they didn't quite miss each other. <laughs> <laughs> out nicely taken at second slip by Jacques Callas Mumblay in the context of the match valuable eight runs it's very close indeed up goes that finger no drama there for Sean Pollock he knew that was out he's been working on that for a long time this walks in too much ball would have gone on to crash in the middle and leg stump there lucky but for how high has that gone through the slip Gordon it's gone between keeper and first slip oh he's nicked it through the vacant slip Gordon it's gone for four the lead is over 100 474 407 49 up in the air over cover safe and four the crowd's happy he's not Graham Smith. I think Anton might get his first test wicket here. And I was right. That was pretty much the Indian attitude. I don't think that they intended to come out after lunch. 411 then India finished with. Contributions all the way down. The lead, 106. It's an intriguing test match for me. Sanjay, it's all in India's favour, we know, but South Africa have been fighters right through. He's so good at this, Irfan Patan, getting that first ball in the right place. The stock delivery, leaving the left hand up. Well, that's the shape we've been used to from Patan with this new ball. It's gone very fine, there's some bat on it. That's four to Andrew Hall. Oh, down the track, advancing, muscling on the leg side. He's got in the way, the outfield has quickened up as the game's gone on. Saxon's the chase, he's going to have to dive, and he doesn't get there. A boundary to Smith. He's gone for that, and he's hit it beautifully. That is a good shot. And it's gone all the way for half a dozen. Very, very well played. Catch it, he says. And he's out, he's gone. On the sweep shot, gloved it, I think. And Eden Gardens... It's come alive. Well, as you said, Jack, as now the game changes, the new batsman is out there. Ah! And this will be close. No shot. You have to play a shot. But that no shot is offered when there's big pressure. And you first come to the crease in these sort of circumstances. Huge disappointment for Rudolph. He stood there. Not out of uh, argument or anything, but just out of dejection. Yeah. That might be out. That might be out. That might be out. It isn't. Huge disappointment with the Indians. They know what a big wicket this is. 
Well, just on in instinct, Jack, as the ball doesn't tend to go out so sharply unless it's come off the inside edge of the bat. It certainly has. If that was pad, it was going to lob out and probably come more straight down the pitch. The only reason it's gone out sideways is because the bat has helped it. So one outrageously good decision and then one shocker. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic catch at Slit. The Smith goes. Amazing. Previous Lakshman, great delivery, change of angle from Hargojin, working in favour. Forced to play at the delivery, turn in bounce. Stupendous catch, sensational effort from BBS Lakshman. Spewed away on the uh, outside half of the bat, will run away for four, every run critical. Callis once again, on whom uh, the hopes for South Africa rest. And this one in the air, inside edge was there, yes there was. Another wicket, the fourth for India. Amla trying to work that to the onside. Javid Miada, the Pakistani batsman, is to love a chat when under pressure. Oh, I got you. oh. Yeah. gone, gone. That's definitely out. Anil Kumle gets his first wicket. And South Africa have lost their fifth. And coming back over the wicket to the new batsman, Dipana. It's worked a treat. The leg spinner, the turning. Flicking the outside edge, only a flick. Nicely played through extra cover. The crowd is fairly silent. Encouragement now for the fieldsman who's chasing it, Anil Kumbla, who does well. Loses his cap, gets the slide in, and saves a run. Very, very good fielding for a bloke who's uh, done a lot of bowling today. 25 overs for Anil Kumbla, and look at this for commitment. And this is absolutely fantastic commitment. the wicket they wanted. The noise is enormous here at Eden Gardens. Harbhajan Singh picks up another five for 15th time in Test Match cricket and boy oh boy he has been an outstanding performer. Khan has gone for 55. Quick single taken and there it is. There's 3,000 runs for Sean Pollock. Congratulations Sean Pollock. 3,000 Test runs and now 300 Test wickets. Outstanding stuff. There's confirmation, all-rounders in Test cricket, qualification, 3,000 runs, 300 wickets, what a bunch to join. Yeah. Crowds have catch it, they've gone up in a big way, up goes the finger, that is a huge wicket. Sean Pollock has been dismissed, the crowd has gone berserk here at uh, Eden Gardens, smiles all over the place. So the great all-rounder gets out, oh, was it taken on the full, lots to debate about. Gautam Gambhir the catcher, Harbhajan Singh the bowler. Does it carry? Does it carry? Not in my book. I'll be sure you say Shiva, there's uh, the zoom underneath it. And I'm not convinced that that is carried. I, I claim to catch 100% sure that I'd wedged my finger or had wedged under and his fingers just get there and the ball wedges. I've got no problem with that. If the umpires think there's an issue and it goes to the third umpire, Prize of catch it, has that one rolled up the glove. Up goes the finger. So two wickets in this over. One of them shouldn't have been given out. Seven for 71 for Harbhajan Singh so far. Eighth wicket to fall. Dinesh Karthik, the keeper, taking a very simple catch. And isn't he delighted? The Turbinator is doing the job for India. I'm not convinced, absolutely convinced, that the ball carried to Gambia at forward short leg. Michael Slater feels that he did get a finger or two under it and squeezed it. And bowled. And so they're on a roll now. Three very quick wickets have fallen. And then nine wickets down. Beautiful delivery, this. Pitching middle turns, hits off. Well, the kid, he thought he had it covered. He didn't. So Kumble in the act for the first time this morning. There it is. The whole driver has taken the catch. And Kumble has picked up a wicket. All out for 222, that lead 116. And the captain is uh, deep in thought, a little bit of a smile. 434 for Anil Kumble equals Kapil Dev's record, and it's come at a good time. He knows it. Harbhajan Singh picking up seven wickets. And Anil Kumble, a moment he will treasure for a long, long time. They'll need 43 overs to win this, if they go the same way. Pollock. Straight away, freedom from the Sawag. Off the mark. 
and good confident manner were in the Sebag and India will need the highest total made at Kolkata to win a test match in the fourth innings. Oh, that's a good shot from off the stumps. That is beautifully played. Four runs. Edged. Oh, and it's through the slips. It's gone between Graham Smith and also Jacques Callas. It would have been a very, very good catch had it been taken, but it was catchable height. No reaction at all. Smith and Callas in the slip area and Sean Pollock. Understandable emotions. It's a good quality there by Sehwag. John. Smith catches him at first slip. The lady in the crowd can't believe how her hero can get out. Martini continues. It's nicely tucked away by Dravet. And he knows he's timed it to perfection. Left arm orthodox and you can't afford to bowl. Big loopy full tosses. Hammered away off the back foot for beautiful stroke. The shortness allowed Gambier to just ride it and hit it through. It's a nice shot and it's through. Hashimam was the man that didn't stop it. Sean Pollock still going to be impressed with that, I wouldn't have thought. His Dolphins teammate not doing the hard graft for the covers, four runs. It's time for the bits and pieces spinners to disappear, I think. That's a way Trash to cover, four runs, anything short, anything slightly short. It's going to be slapped through that offside for four when you've got quality batsmen like this. Oh, that's a nice shot. That is a very, very nice shot. Workers on. Good stuff too from McCray and Tini. End result being three runs. The typical Dravid square cut. That's a wait. Back in the square. Offside. Four runs. Quite a nice innings here, Gambia. Well, this is like domestic cricket for Gautam Gambia. And he averages around 50 at the domestic level. In fact, I think we'll get better spinners perhaps who have more control. I really think South Africa need to bowl pace and spin. Has he played a shot at that? That's gone. Jacques Rudolph the struck. That is kept very low indeed. He just thrust that front foot forward. Didn't play a shot. And it would have gone on to hit the stump. So, Jacques Rudolph has picked up a wicket. And he will be delighted with that. India have lost their second. That's it. One will run away. Had a second slip. Bailed out. Turned his back. He's not there to catch a top-edge cut shot. He's there for one that pitches jumps and hits the glove down the wicket out of the ground it hadn't landed yet definitely out of reach it's a big six and that's like such a big look i keep saying this why doesn't he play this lofted shot more often but he's been such a master of the lofted shot over the years it'll run away nicely played by tendulka smart cricket minor risk involved played it well lose to 28 Sachin Tendulkar, there's a good chance that Rahul Dravid will remain unbeaten in 47. Five deliveries left, one run to win, and the field coming in. Everyone coming in. Graham Smith now at a second gully, or a second slip. Gully, angle. So they feel very happy for the son of the soil in Kolkata, Sarah Ganguly. That'll be it. Half-tracker. Tenduka shows his delight. Dravid looks satisfied. He's played a big hand, 47 not out. Tenduka ends up 32 not out for a series victory. Two test matches. India winning 1-0. The Yocon Cup going their way. And a big win. The 16th win in 41 test matches as captain to Surav Ganguly. The most fine Indian captain, but Graham Smith deserves a lot of raps. He's captain well. He came with a side that's not terribly well balanced for Indian conditions. And in the last 12 months, pretty much, they've toured Pakistan, Sri Lanka, now India, have not had a series win and have been struggling for a spinner. They need to do something about it, South Africa, if they are to compete in this part of the world.